division with divisors up to 100. Samantha purchases a box of 96 donuts. She divides those donuts amongst two friends evenly. How many donuts does each friend get? So we're gonna take 96 donuts and divide them between two friends. So there's gonna be a lot of donuts for each friend. So we need to figure out how many each friend gets. Well, dividing two into 96 is a lot. So I'm gonna break 96 up into 80 plus 16. To me, having an even 10 dividing by two is a little bit easier. So 80 divided by two is going to equal 40 because 80 cut in half is 40. And then we can do 16 divided by two. Well, I can count by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Well, that would give me eight. So what is 40 plus eight? Well, then that would be 48. So there would be 48 donuts per friend. While making a toy castle, Ashley creates 74 rooms over two different floors. If they are distributed evenly, how many rooms are on each floor? So I'm gonna take those 74 rooms and divide them between two floors. So again, these are some pretty large numbers. So I'm gonna take 74 and I'm gonna split it up into 60 plus 14. And I did that because 60 is even and dividing two into even numbers, in my opinion, is a little bit easier. So 60 divided by two is going to equal 30 because six divided by two or six tenths divided by two ones is three tenths, so three tenths is 30. And then we can divide 14 by two. Well, 14 divided by two is seven. So 30 plus seven equals 37. Aiden cuts 62 slices of watermelon and divides them evenly among two platters. How many watermelon slices are on each platter? So 62 slices divided by two. So I'm gonna break this one into 60 plus two. So 60 divided by two equals 30 and two divided by two equals one. So 30 plus one is 31. So 62 divided by two equals 31. Noah purchases a box of 99 donuts. He divides those donuts among three friends evenly. How many donuts does each friend get? So we need to split up this number here, 99, or we need to figure out how many times three goes into 99. Another way we can look at this is we can divide each digit because nine can be divided by three. So nine divided by three is three. So nine ones divided by three ones is three and nine tens divided by three is three tens. So our answer would be 33. <coughs> Anthony bakes a cake, which he slices up into 14 pieces. If Anthony divides them among two plates to give to two neighbors, how many pieces of cake does each neighbor get? So there's 14 slices of cake and they're gonna go between two neighbors. So 14 divided by two. If you're not sure what this, uh, this is off the top of your head, you can count by twos. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our answer here would be seven. While making a toy castle, Caleb creates 42 rooms over two different floors. If they are distributed evenly, how many rooms are on each floor? So I can divide 42 divided by two. So to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna split 42 into 40 plus two. So 40 divided by two 
equals 20. 20 divided by 2 equals 1. So 20 plus 1 equals 21. While making a toy castle, Kevin creates 12 rooms over three different floors. If they are distributed evenly, how many rooms are on each floor? So we have 12 rooms, and we're going to divide them between three floors. So 12 divided by 3, so let's count by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12. So we counted 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Austin bakes a cake, which he slices up into eight pieces. If Austin divides them among two plates to give to two neighbors, how many pieces of cake does each neighbor get? So we have eight pieces of cake. We're going to divide them among two people. So let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. So two, four, six, eight would give us four slices of cake per person. Jackson decides to get rid of his old video game cartridges. He has 96 in all. In all. If he divides them between two friends evenly, how many video game cartridges does each friend get? So we have 96 in all, so we're going to take 96 and we're going to divide it by the two friends. So 96 divided by 2. Well, let's split 96 up into 80 plus 16. So then we can divide each one of these by 2. So 80 divided by 2 equals 40. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. So 40 plus 8 is 48. Darren cut 63 slices of watermelon and divided them evenly among three platters. How many watermelon slices are on each platter? So we can take 63 and divide it by 3. So let's split this up into 60 plus 3. And we're going to divide each one of these by 3. So 60 divided by 3, 60 divided by 3, if we look at 6 tenths divided by 3 would be 2 tenths. So 2 tenths is 20, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So 20 plus 1 is 21. Great job. Great job with division with divisors up to 100.